The government's about to ban protests and it's our last chance to stop them. Last summer, we took to the streets to campaign against the police crime sentencing in court bill, but on Monday, it's returning to Parliament for its final reading. The bill is an attack on the right to protest, something the Conservative government have seen a lot of over the past 11 years, as their attacks on marginalised communities have caused an outpouring of anger and civil disobedience. It states that any protest causing serious disruption, i.e. noise, can be shut down at will, with organisers facing up to 10 years in prison and hefty fines for attendance. Protest has its roots in our history and is part of our democracy. From the origins of the Notting Hill Carnival to the recent Stop Cambo campaign, we know the protest works. Any government that uses its powers to silence the voices of people that disagree with them can only be described as one thing, fascist. And the bill doesn't stop at criminalising protest. It threatens to criminalise the GRT communities, making their way of life illegal and threatening to seize their homes. It also includes increased stop and search powers for the police, a practice disproportionately used against black communities. Just last month, thanks to the work of campaigners across the UK, parts of the bill were removed by the House of Lords, but these were just amendments to the bill, meaning the original document still stands. Since protests against the bill started last year, we've shown strength in the unity of our resistance. The power of our collective voices puts pressure on politicians, but we need to be making more noise as there's still time to defeat this bill. Join Kill the Bill official this Monday for a music of resistance protest outside Parliament from 2pm. You can also use our tool to email your local MP and tell them to oppose this bill. And if the bill passes, which the government are confident it will, we must organise. Look out for training from groups like Kill the Bill Official or Sisters Uncut that provide you with the skills to set up police monitoring groups in your community or the legal skills to know what the police can or cannot do at protests. Most importantly, never give up. They can't silence all of us. Look at what we've achieved in such a small amount of time and imagine what we could achieve if there were more of us. Whether we defeat this bill through Parliament or by bringing down this government, we must never ever be silent about the issues that we care about. 